don't be distracted by the fact that there was in fact a YCS this weekend because Zephyrus got a regional top. So, what is up guys? Mkul40 here. Of course, your favorite orange shirt wearing fat fuck. And my comment section every day reminds me that I am in fact very big boned and it brings a smile to my face. See, I'm doing just fine on the inside. Some of you will say that was a cry for help, other of you will be like, he's just doing his best. Remember. Venusaur was doing his best on the opening of Pokemon. And when I mean Venusaur was doing his best, go rewatch the opening of Pokemon and tell me. If Charizard's shooting fire and Blastoise is shooting water, what the fuck is Venusaur doing? His goddamn best. So don't remember there, don't forget that. Interesting fun fact. That's been my motto for like the last week and a half. You know, always make a reference to someone doing their best and we'll call them Venusaur. So also we got a new chair. I don't think you can see it because of how fat the angle is, but just know that after the last seven chairs, we've all survived. Now we have a big boy one coming in at a young 500 pound weight limit. So, all right. So we're gonna have a couple deck profile videos for you today. Um, there's this one, and then I'm gonna break up the Magical Musketeers in ABC. That one will be up later today for you guys. So you'll get this one first. Uh, it's the third place ABC. I believe there's a Magical Musketeer that finished uh, in France at a WCQ because you know there was no magical musketeer in the top cut of America for some reason I don't know what was going on there but eh, it is what it is so anyway Zephra um, Asian Persuasion ended up profiling this deck and I'm still very very complexed as to what happened this deck finished second place at the Lenexa Kansas Regional now I don't know if they're just all the good players just weren't there or what was going on did Robbie just say this Zephra deck's bad I don't know... Okay, so, backtrack here on my thought. Literally, any time I would think of seeing Zephra and just thinking about it, I'd be like, oh man, like, Denglong's banned. Like, we can't play the deck. And then the next thing you realize, well, you know, sometimes our problems get solved with really weird things. Why is he hovering over this? Yeah, I, I am hovering over this. <laughs> this was like the replacement. This was a very interesting choice to see added into this deck. But if you guys want to watch the original profile, it's down below. Um, interesting tech choices, though. Um, usually a lot more in the OCG, I would see Mare Mare being played in the side deck. Um, you got to remember, you, you can't pendulum summon. All right, you can't be special summon except by the effect of a Wyvern-type monster. Jesus, fucking my memory hurts. But keep in mind that if you get this out on the field, you'll literally just get to special summon fucking Mare Mare tokens and just not really give a fuck. And this thing's a tuner, so I'm, I can only imagine, like, the disgustingly power-extensive plays that you can do with this deck. But anyway, this is Zephra playing Distrudo. Um, how this man did this and set up combos, we'll take a look at the hands here in a second so we can answer that question. So Triple Armageddon Knight. Um, actually, I don't even see Rota in the main deck. One Ash Blossom, <laughs> one Distrudo, two Ghost Ogre, one Mare Mare, one Maxi, Triple Gamma, uh, one Zephra Pelika. Uh, one Zephrindi, of course, one Zephrathubin, two Zephraxion, triple Zephrath, triple Zephranu, and triple Zephraxi with one driver. Uh, spells, two Cosmic Cyclones, triple Oracle, two Terraforming, triple Zephyr Providence, triple Nine Pillars, one Zephyr Divine Strike, and two Zephyr War. And then in the extra deck here, we have one Ancient Fairy, one Nabaxia, one Beals, of course, Chao Fang, Crestron Amatrix, Metaphys Horus, Omega, Scarlight, Sardis Charge, Yazi, uh, Constellar Ptolemy M7, Baguski, of course, Decode, Mrs. Radiant, and why are you here? <laughs> Hello, Miss Starboy equals off of this stupid thing. And then, of course, side deck, two Denko Rekka, two Lava Golem, one Necro Valley, triple Waver, guys. I can only imagine, like, thinking about this, I'm very curious to know how much of this came up. Um, in the blowout against Pendulum Magician, because I feel like if you resolve this against Pendulum Magician, you would literally just blow them out. Uh, an interesting choice of triple broken line, and then two heavy storm duster, and two unending nightmare. So, the first thing, I want to go back here and talk about this. Uh, very interesting that he's playing this, because uh, this is a column card. Now, I don't know if he's playing this because he was, like, worried about something, or if he could just, like, know that his opponent was going to do something. Because most players will play their stuff in the center row. So I don't know if this was, like, just continuing on with, like, we have all the nine pillar negations we could ever want. And I can... Dealing with this card during Denglong's time was already absurdly overpowered. But 
granted, you'll be able to kind of get there with additional copies through, you know, these guys. So I can definitely kind of imagine just having massive extra counter trap cards. That way you don't have to burn your nine pillar and you can place this appropriately. Just little interesting things to note. This is why playing on mats with zones is very important. Outside of that, what was what was this guy drawing? All right, randomize three times. I mean, I've seen some pretty okay hands so far. All right, cool. Armageddon Knight dropped Destrudo. Um, I mean, his hand's not too spicy. Uh, be able to Zephyrath something. It's not horrible. Oh, cool, Zephyrath. Typical Pendulum Summon turn, I believe. We can Providence and set up as we would need to normally. Um, no Gamma, unfortunately. It's very interesting. Ghost Ogre Max C. This hand seems like a brick. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing, like, some interesting scenarios. It's a lot of trap cards. One more for the road. Oh, cool, we opened Driver, Distrudo. Feels incredibly bad, man. You know, the amount of times I've seen people open up Distrudo is very, very high. I'm actually kind of shocked by this, but, I mean, it happens as a one-of. So... Very interesting deck. I'm I'm very glad to see that this got as far. You know, we literally had what was it, Zoo Draco top an event, what was it, last week? So I mean like people aren't strangers to this really fucking weird shit topping at the moment. You know, it's almost like it's canon to the current storyline. You know, the meta's not that bad, but YCS results will beg to differ. So And then last but not least, this one I wanted to profile this over a lot of the other Draco list, to be completely honest with you guys, because I've been seeing this guy come up more so than not. And when I say more so than not, he tends to come up, eh, it's like what, every other Draco list. It's almost like if you don't want to play the Invoked Engine, you're pretty much going for this. And of course, by not playing the Subin Invoked Engine, you get to get away with playing this card. But Die Earth, um, to tribute summon this card, tribute continuous spell and trap cards, your opponent cannot target face up true Draco or true King monsters on the field uh, with card effects except for this guy. And if this card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, uh, you can swap summon one true Draco or true King monster from your deck in defense mode. It will literally bring out any of these as not tribute summon monsters. Um, as a potential floater, it's not good, and it also gets protection. Also, this guy's got a fat ass. 2800 is really ridiculous in terms of stats. But anyway, this is literally just, I get to play three skill tree in the deck. Uh, so triple die earth, or two die earth, one Ignis, two Majesty Maiden, two Masterpiece, triple card demise, triple dra or disciples, triple dragonic diagram, two desires, triple duality, two terraforming, one storm forth, and triple heritage. Main decking triple evenly matched. I'm actually very curious to know how this did for the guy. I mean, I'm pretty sure it went pretty well. Because he did so well in the tournament, I believe he finished first place at the Lenexa Regional. But, like, this had to be a blowout. Like, literally, even the match is such a ridiculous power card at the moment. One Skill Drain, Triple Monarchs Erupt, of course, Triple Draco Spocalypse, one uh, of the True King's Return, and two Waterfall of Dragon Soul. And we've definitely been seeing this show up a lot more now. You can activate this attempt, the toggle of the search. You can diagram this thing away. Yes, that's how it properly works. Chain, or chain Link 1, Dragonic Diagram, Chain Link 2, Waterfall, Dragon Souls, and bada bing, bada boom, you get to resolve it. Double the surges. It, it's kind of like why they were playing the bird, but it gets you there. Anyway, side deck, triple Wing Dragon and Ross Sphere Mode. You literally want to not let your opponent's spiral board get to you. Very, very, very important to understand this. Um, spiral board with Sleeper is ridiculous right now. Triple Cosmic Cyclone, one Dark Hole, triple Prohibition, one Rageki, triple Anti Spell, and of course, one Imperial Order, bringing the mishmash of the main deck to a close. I definitely, I'm really starting to have Monarchs Erupt grow on me as a card. I mean, I love True Draco as a deck. I really do, because I loved how old Monarchs worked with Erebus and just the ability to special summon during the opponent's turn and play the game on the opponent's turn. I mean, you're getting to see that now. Evenly matched, Monarchs Erupt. You know, some of you will say, you know, I don't, I don't like this. I'd, I'd rather play, you know, with, with my extra deck and play my invocation. That's up to you, to be completely honest with you, but not having to deal with the opponents, ha having four copies of skill drain in your main deck, it's definitely a lot better. All right, let's see some random hands here. I just saw evenly matched. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this deck's pretty good. Cool, evenly matched demise. We did it. Oh, God. The BM, resolving demise and when it, huh? Cool, hey, we did it. <laughs> Let's go in second, the hand. 
we did it. We're resolving as good as we can. Double Monarchs Erupt with Heritage. Oh, I'm, I'm done with this deck. I already... I'm seeing bad ideas I want to play here. Really bad. So, guys, just some interesting regional deck profiles for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to play Drew Draco now. Fuck Spiral. And, guys, hope you have a good rest of your day. The other two deck profiles will be up later today. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.